How goes it, everybody? I'm Cujo, and welcome back to Sloppy Dog Gaming. We are back here in Seopolis 2 again. It's been a little bit since we've recorded this, but we're going to make some armor. We're getting, kind of getting off the quest book area today, and we're going to go venturing a little bit. Uh, so we're going to make some super cool armor with our Awakened Supremium stuff. So I need about eight blocks. Of this. I've already made two because uh, one key to... Um, recording is to have OBS open to record to. I pushed the record button, did an intro, and of course, uh, it was not open. So, we we already made two blocks before I noticed it wasn't recording because my little red light wasn't flashing. But we're good now. I added speed upgrades to this, and it seems like it's handling it much better now than it was back then. Like, we can just keep pushing the button. We might even be able to put a clock on it and just have it auto-do it, you know? But we'll do this. We don't have to make too many. So let's give our Awakened Supremium. I think this should be enough to make all of our armor Awakened Supremium armor. So I've already gone through off camera and done all of our stuff. Supremium. All this stuff. Um, I also made a Supremium fishing rod because we're going to put a bunch of augments in here. And for the water breathing, you need puffer fish. So I made a, and but I didn't like that that fishing rod. It seemed like it took a long time. So I made a diamond one, which you can enchant. And so I got like the lure. I got the luck of the sea and all that stuff on it. And we got some puffer fish. Um, okay, so let's get, that's not what I wanted to do. So we'll grab this, right? Let's get some awakened insanium. Supremium, not insanium. And let's just, let's start with our armor, right? Let's start with the head and work our way down. So we'll just make one of these guys. So all, it looks like all the recipe's good. We should hit start and let's see how long it takes to do this stuff. And kind of watch it process through. That's not very long because it's all just crafting things. So we can grab our Supremium head. Let's go to our chest. Chest is done. Let's go to, not feet, pants, pantalonis. Pantalones are done, and we'll go to our feet. There's our feet done. Um, let's just, we'll go through all of our tools and make one of each of these. Probably just queue them all up at once. Ooh, it's missing a diamond. Did I not put a diamond shovel recipe in there? Pretty sure I did, but... Just in case, we'll add one to it. Go diamond shovel, uh, pickaxe. What other tools do we have here? So premium bow and an axe. All right, so all of our tools are now crafted just like that. Okay, we got all the stuff. So now what we need to do for all of these recipes, if you take a look at them, we need um, so premium S or so premium. Uh, there's two per, right? Two diamonds and two things per. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things that we need to upgrade. So that's 18 of each of the ingots and 18 of the other deals. So let's make a recipe for those. We don't have that done yet. So that is the awakened one for the diamond and for the ingot so we need 18 of each of these and we have two so we need 16 of these guys that's just a supremium we need the awakened supremium those shouldn't take very long either yeah that's done already and our awakened supremium of this we have one so we need 17 And actually, I don't want to put these in our pocket because we are going to change the the filter and we're going to use this over here because we have to use the essence. It's going to be easier to just change the filter on this to what we want it to be.
All right, so now once we take these out, they should be restocked. And we should be able to just slap our deal in here and make it work, right? So we can just work our way through. That should craft. There's our axe, our bow's getting done. Now that we have all the things, we can start working on our augments, right? And our augments are all going to be done with that one, I think. So we'll just grab the first one, and I don't know if you can put multiple augments on these things. I don't really know how that works. I don't know if you put them on an anvil or what. We'll figure it out together here. So the first one we got here is the night vision. So we're going to need four golden carrots. Grab those. What else were we going to need? Just some Prudentium. So if we come in here and Prudentium. Let's craft. Uh, let's just make like 10 Prudentium. We only need four. We need a base upgrade. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these guys. So that we should probably set an auto craft to. Let's make 10 of them just to make it easy. All right. So now that we have all the recipe, I think we should be able to just hop over here, slap these things down into our deal. It should go. And then we can figure out where we put this thing. So how does this work? Needs to go on the helmet. Let's take off our diving suit. If we put that on, can we like put this on also? No. Do they need to be anviled? We have that technology. We can anvil things. Is it an anvil deal? No. I'm going to look this up real quick and see what we got to do with this. All right, so I think I got it figured out. I think we got it. We had to get this tinkering table, right? So if we do that, we'll get a night vision. So now we have a helmet with night vision. So if we put that on, we should be able to see all the time, no matter what. Does this help underwater? I don't know. Oh, it's daytime, but oh, geez, I can see so. Oh, I can see so good from above the water. I can see all the things down underneath from above. That's pretty neat. Uh, not so much when uh, we go under, but that's okay. So what's our next augment we need to make here? It's raining. I really wish it was nighttime so we could sleep. So we need to, we have the night vision. We need a flight augment, which is tier five, which we need for Supremium for nether stars. So we should have that also. I took the long way around, apparently. All right, so if we cop in here and hit our nether stars, and we need some premium because it's a higher tier, craft this time, put our deal in the middle, and the flight augment is coming up. I probably should have brought that tinkering table up here since this is where we're doing it. We'll just make another one because we have that technology. So now that we have the flight, this says it goes on the chest plate. If we put a chest plate down, put that on, now we'll have flight. Creative flight, we can fly around. We are super amazing now. That helps so much. So what do we need next for our next augment? Strength three for the sword. So that means we need strength one, which is uh, Tritarium. <laughs> I don't know why I have so hard time saying that. All right, so strength augment one is a tier three, so we need that and iron swords, and then the next one we need some more iron swords and the blue. 
So I need blue, red, and orange, and iron and diamond swords. Okay, I think we have everything we need. So for the first tier, we need the green and two iron swords, right? Is that all it was? Oh, we need blocks of quartz also. So now we can go like two of these, our swords, the essence, and a base deal. Right? Right? Oh, it's orange. Orange for this one. I was confused. There we go. That's the correct one. And actually, we can leave that one there. Because the next one, we need two more iron swords. And we need blue. Two blocks of quartz. Swap that for that. And that should craft up. There we go. And then for the next one, we're going to need red and the diamond sword. And that should start crafting that. Allegedly. Is it not blocks of quartz for this one? Two diamond swords, blocks of quartz. Strength augment two, which is what's in here. Well, maybe because I never took it out. Yeah, it's because I didn't take it out. You have to take it out and take it back. Put it back in, take it back in. That doesn't make any sense. So there's our strength augment two we can place on our sword. And there we go. We got our weapon. And now we need to do the same thing with the next tier. Health boost, which we're going to need some... And this is five, so we're going to need to go through this a bunch. So we need golden apples, wither skull heads. All right, so we got all of our augments complete. There's still some more we could do, but all of our armor has two each, which is all they can hold with the... Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Awaken. And once you get up to the Awaken level, I guess you can have two. I think the other ones below this can only have one augment per per piece. So we have Night Vision, Water Breathing. We got Flight and Health Boost. We got Absorption 5 and Wither Resistance and Fire Resistance and Poison Resistance. I didn't really want to go for the speed because I didn't feel like we needed it. Um, but we, we attack for a lot with this. On the, on the tools, we got Strength 3, Attack AoE, nothing on here, uh, nothing on these tools either because I didn't... I don't think we really need it, but we can fly, and we have a AOE. I don't. I don't know if it works on the botany pots, but with our, I, I can't tell if they're growing quicker. I really can't. I, our stuff grows quick enough as it is, but we're gonna get into doing some of these dungeons, right? Um, we need to. We have a couple banners and we have a couple deals we need to put on this guy. Is it crown? Is that what they're called? I forget. Yeah, these crown pieces, and we need some banners. Apparently, that must be a new quest or something, because I've had those in my pocket, because that's how I got them. Banners. Okay, let's take these two purple banners. Let's see if this works. We'll break this guy. I think we went... I don't think we went all the way through that one. Uh, but we can do an advanced key. Can we inscribe this in here? Yes, we can. Oh, it's not going to work, though, because we don't have these deals. Let's get these deals. There we go. I, I was worried that it had to be, like, the white and that. It doesn't. It just has to be a purple or white banner. Um, we should go through here with uh, the zero issues. And I want to check out those nether ones also. Why are you angry with me already? Why are people why are people angry? Okay. So this is a new one. It looks about exactly the same except that one guy was angry. 
<laughs> there we go. A chest. We got some rockets, which we don't really need, but we'll take them anyways. Might as well kill people. Um, we can fly around and do... There's usually buttons in here, but there's not in this one. Oh, we got all kinds of TNT that we're not going to use either. I don't see any hidden buttons in this guy. Let's just go across. Flying makes this a lot easier. This one I have not been able to figure out how to do. This is like one of the... Like, I, don't, I don't get it. I think you have to get like all the emeralds in a row or something. I don't understand. I don't get it. So we haven't been able to beat that one. You can't take any of this stuff off the walls. Let's come around this way. Any secrets in this room? There's an angry guy. Nothing back. Hey. Get out. Get out. I should probably put our food on our bar. I don't know if we need to eat. I, th I don't think the absorption feeds us, right? This one we just need to... We can't break these blocks, so you have to push this button. Which opens those doors. Oh, we only had... Let's grab some arrows. I did not look to see if, uh, if we could enchant this stuff further with, like, regular enchantments. It's not very strong bow. <laughs> it doesn't feel like. There we go. We're just waiting for this stuff, because that turns on the lights, which melts the the uh, water and then the water gets or melts the ice which the water gets sucked up by the sponges I took off a mining fatigue tier because I figured that's we're really not going to get that probably we're just waiting on this bucket to <laughs> or bucket this crate to open up alright it finally melted oh and we shot an arrow at it <laughs> uh, we got a freaking crappy bow uh, what's this next puzzle I don't know this one this isn't this is a different one, but the same idea thing. I think it, it's supposed to unlock this. Did we? We did, we just did it. <laughs> That's the first time I have ever. Oh, well, that does open up a door to another room. Dang it! Which we could have gone around to anyways. Oh, oh wait, no. There's a chest over here also. Respiration Aqua. Who's shooting? Why are you shooting at me? So this is one of the puzzles I do know. So if we hop through here without getting the door shut in our face, we can kill this witch. And we can just take a bucket. I think we can probably just... There we go. And that should open up a wall over here. Not, not in here. I didn't realize that you could trade with these guys too. Um, you can get keys in the, the things that took me forever to find through the dungeons, because I just, I just waited until I found them. But that'll open up this room right over here. And we can get in the chest and get a crappy book that we don't need. So this is a new room to me. This is like an end portal. Like, there's like a, an egg on it, but I don't think we can do anything with it. Can you stop? I'm trying to talk to people. And that's like a portal juice down in, in it. If we go through there, it'll bring us back to the start. This bow really is very strong. <laughs> yeah, so that's the local teleporter stuff. So this is cool. I wonder if we can get an... Uh... Yeah, it won't let us mine in here. So we can't do that. This is a cool room, though. What does this do? I don't see anything we can do in here. I'm sure there is stuff. There's a chest. I knew about this one. Okay. So we need to do a puzzle here. I don't know how that's going to work. Okay. I'm not... I'm, we don't get good enough stuff out of this to, <laughs> to do that puzzle. It takes too long. So this is another one that I know how to do. You just drop through this lava. And it'll put you in some water. 
Then you can... Oh, a blank teleporter key. What does that do? That's something new. What does a blank teleporter key do? But anyways, you can come back into here. One of these will usually spawn a bad guy. It's got a spawn egg in it. It was probably this one. Nope, that one doesn't have anything. That one doesn't have anything. So then we go on the black one, the same thing. There's usually a chest. Sometimes there's not. Come in. Yeah, it had a spawn egg in it. That one did. And that's all that puzzle has. Ooh. That was, that was rude, huh? That was rude. All right, I got the stuff before. This looks like it needs to move. Do something in here. All right, so let's try one of these nether keys. Let's put this in our done keys, right? Key to the Great Vault. Let's grab one of our key to the nether fortress of cruelty. cruelty. That sounds like a fun place to go. Let's see what these... Okay, these are definitely different looking dungeons. Oh, you, is there striders? Oh, if you go in the lava, you just... Apparently, there's a... A portal down under here. To bring you back. So let's not do that. But we can fly, so... We're okay. Strider room complete. We completed the strider room. That was super amazing. <laughs> this is very difficult. This looks like a much smaller dungeon there's these guys in here which we can just like come join them and beat them any buttons or anything in this room does not look like it so I want to test something out so there's a little undercut space right here if we throw a thing under it did we get into a new place? Let's see. We're swimming in lava super slow right now. Yes, we did. We did. And we get a chest with another bell of secrets. So that was in this room. So if you go down by the ladder one on this side, the one that has the ink cut... It'll bring you to a little passageway underneath the thing. We figured out a deal. We figured out another puzzle. I forgot that ender pearls are really handy in here. Sometimes you have to like... I'm sure that does something. <laughs> Again, at this point in the ma uh, mod pack, I don't really care to... Wow, that's a lot of glass. I don't really care to like figure this stuff out because it's not really going to give us anything we need. That's the entrance room. All right, so we have uh, another key. So this uh, blank teleporter key that we did. I guess if we put it in here, it will open up another dimension to... It'll have eight different doors to eight different dimensions. Eight different deals. It's like a... We can put eight different keys in to go to different places. Um, so that's cool. I mean, it's got chests. I don't know if we can... Can we store stuff in there? We can use the chest, so that's good. So we... I don't think we're gonna dive this deep into this place. There's no loot or anything in here. Um... It said that right in the book. How do we get out of here is the bigger question. Oh, there we go. This one's open. Because it has our home key, right? Portal keystone. We can hop through here and we'll go home. All right. So I'm going to take a look at what we need to do next. I think we're done exploring dimensions and stuff because there's not that much to do in there. It's just kind of the same stuff over and over again. So we need to get into creative matter, which we need creative seeds, which are creative essence which come from Awakened Supremium Nuggets and Cognizant Dust and Insanium Essence. 
So that's let's make some of those seeds because those seems like those those seems like they will be good. Creative essence. If we get creative seeds, is so we need four creative essence for a creative seed. So that means we need like two ingots of awakened supreme uh, ingots. Where's it going? It's getting sucked up to somewhere. Who is taking Awakened Supreme Nuggets? Or Essence? Where is that going to? That's weird. I don't know where that's going. If we do it to this, does it do the same thing? Yeah, it just disappears. All right, so that should be enough. And then what was it? We I sh we probably should have bookmarked this, right? So we're going to need one Insanium and four Cognizant Dust per. We need four of them. We're almost up to a thousand Insanium. So this should be all we need. Just slap four of each of these in here. There we go, creative essence. All right, we have our four creative essence. That makes creative organic matter. <laughs> oh, gosh. What do we use this for? To make creative waste. Okay. I think that's what we're going for ultimately here. Um, let's do this. We need the seeds, which is four insanium and a prosperity seed. That's, I'm only going to make one of these. I believe that should be plenty. We put our seed down. Let's switch out our deals here. Or Insanium, and that should give us creative seeds. Which we need to get our farmland. Let's get some farmland ready. Farm. We need Insanium farmland. Done. And that will grow very, very slowly and get us creative essence. Can we time in a bottle this? It would appear so. Oh, geez. Look how fast that's going. Do we not have an upgrade on here? We do not. I mean, regularly we wouldn't need it. We haven't used our time in the bottle much. There we go. That should be good for our creative essence. So we need to grab some creative essence. Let's see how fast we're getting it. We already have over a thousand. And so we've gotten that. We need the creative matter, which we can make a crafting recipe for, right? Oh, we need, we need to get, uh, we're going to have to automate some of this. Because we need to get the creative, oh, it's just creative essence, oh, and a creative essence. It's creative essence and creative essence. <laughs> it makes complete sense. But in a flux compactor, we can make essence in 64 essence into a creative essence so we could grab a flux compactor do we have any of those 
flux compactor yes we do do we just need to let's do like one of these does it need power yes it's gonna need power where's our hammer set an input an output side over there and we'll grab an importer then we can get another netherite crafter here all right so we've got a creative uh matter <laughs> i i've auto crafted a recipe for this so if we want to go into creative matter we can craft it because we have this crafting um we're gonna run out of creative essence eventually we may need to plant some more seeds but it's super easy because we have 24 already built up in the system so we may want to do like a full deal a full like 81 9 by 9 thing of just creative essence and just freaking completely overload our system of it but so we're setting up a sieving station here for this um we can get a flux sieve put in here that should be getting power we can put a mesh in it let's grab some gold upgrades because we have the power now with our our deal to be able to do that um i just want to see what this outputs all we have to do is we need just need to import do an input deal on this guy so it only inputs oh it only does that right so let's find a spot for this in our system our creative matter i think all of our drawers here are full so we're gonna have to go to our other drawer wall which is super easy because we can do things like this now and let's grab some storage upgrades We will never fill that up. So I'm not worrying about voiding it. So then with this, we're going to need to import on it. But I want to... We're going to pop out this way. And we're going to... Let's do an exporter. Of course, we don't have one on hand. We do have a crafting upgrade. So if we export into here, we need some cable and an importer. All right, stack and speeds. I don't know if this is going to make a difference if we have a stack in these. I don't know if they'll help with the crafting speed or what, or if it'll make it craft more at a time. Let's try this. Let's do creative this let's make another stack we're missing 400 oh geez that takes so much we got to go use our time in a bottle again we are going to have to upgrade this we're going to need more i thought we were just going to be able to get away with just having a little bit it's not going to happen still missing 160 but it's going up very fast 28 there we go we can craft a bunch of that there we go. We got a stack. So if we take a stack of this, will it try to craft a stack at a time in the filter? No. We can't change the amount. So it's just going to be that. And we can hop downstairs. Figure out where we're going here. So we're going to need an importer here. Cable down. And then... We should be all hooked in. It should start crafting and sending this stuff into here. But we're probably going to run out of the, the creative essence. We're going to have to upgrade that because it's going to take a little bit. I don't know how much of this stuff we need, though. So if we hop up here, it should be... We should see it creating this stuff. Did we not add the crafting thing into it? I don't feel like it's going. Will it not work pulling into here, maybe? Kind of seems that way, doesn't it? Let's 
Let's do this. We'll get a drawer, a one by one drawer. Grab a downgrade on it. Actually, I don't want a downgrade. I just want it to make them. Let's just put the drawer down and it, just let it go to town. So if we place our creative essence in here, nope, not like that. Creative organic matter is what I meant to say. Lock that. Then we can hop downstairs and we'll do our export crafting grid deal into that instead. And maybe that'll work better. Maybe it doesn't call for it. Or did I just... Oh, I did I did have the crafting. So we'll place our creative organic matter in here and see if that'll actually start crafting some. Is it because there's a stack upgrade in it? It doesn't help to put a different stack upgrade in it, that's for sure. Okay, it's going very slowly. All right, so that's going. We can now... I don't, I don't know if we needed that, but I don't know. It seems to be working better this way. Let's grab some item pipe. All right, we should be able to pop this on here real quick and then grab our wrench. Get rid of this side. And then we can pull... And set an upgrade on here to pull out into this. There we go. And that should have the matter going in. How much creative matter do we have? 128. Have we gotten the thing for this yet? I think we have. Yeah, because we made a drawer for it, didn't we? So what is this used for? It's used to make a chemical oxidizer and used to make a solium neutron inventor deal. And we can make nuclear waste out of it. So what do we need nuclear waste for? It makes polonium. With fluorite dust, polonium, and seawater, we can make polonium pellet. We can make an SPS casing. Or we can make reprocessed fissile fragments. Which makes fissile fuel. All things that I'm not, not really worried about getting into. All right, so we got the recipe put in for our chemical oxidizer deal, um, which is the last piece we need in this string of uh, quests. And we have it here. If we can get it, there we go. Creative matter, we get the big boom, big boom, big boom. I don't know what we're going to use this for yet, but we will uh, we'll definitely make use of it somehow, I'm sure. I'm sure the pack will lead us. Let's see what we have to do next here. We need to make HDPE sheets. Which, to get the HDPE sheets, you need the pellets. Which we can run through an enrichment chamber to make the sheets, which might be a little bit better. And we need a pressurized reaction chamber with oxygen and liquid ethylene. Oh, I hate, I hate, this is like such a big setup. I mean, we may, do we have, uh, entangle blocks? We do have entangle blocks. No. Yes, entangle block right there. We can do the entangle blocks. Um, to help make the ethylene to liquid ethylene. And then we need to do uh, seawater and hydrogen with biofuel to make the substrate. It's a whole freaking thing, right? It's a whole thing. Uh, we'll work, work through that. Antimatter, this is going to make the polonium and the polonium. SDPE casing. SDP, I don't know what this stuff is. Supercharged stuff. Antimatter pellets. And then antimatter cores, which is a bunch of that stuff, I'm guessing, right? Antimatter pellet with resident ender stuff. Uh, maybe we'll be able to do... Make four antimatter cores tomorrow? I don't know. Next episode? I don't think so. Maybe we'll be able to get through this thing. But if you got to this point in the video, what can... Oh, we got, a, we got our super cool armor on. Where should we stand? Stand like Batman on the top of our roof? Oh, I didn't know this was still here. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. Oh, because it built it there. You know, for being as expensive as it is, this armor sure doesn't look very good. It's just like orange. It doesn't change colors like the sword stuff. It's just orange. I'm wearing like copper armor, it looks like. But if you got to this point in the video, I truly appreciate it. You are super amazing. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you got something to say, say it down below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.